All right, so module three now. While riding to school one morning, Rohan had a bike accident. He was taken to the emergency room by an ambulance by an ambulance for treatment. Severe head injuries in the duty completed a medical form with the information related to it. Whether each of the following statements on the medical form is extraneous or essential. So the only ones extraneous or essential. So allergies definitely essential because it, uh, if administered, the results could be catastrophic, could be problematic, there's a problem. Um, by color, that is extraneous. They just ask for extraneous or essential. By color, could be cosmetic, but extraneous because it has nothing to do with this injury and has no value with the doctor. Um, blood type is essential because it needs to get blood blood to help them recover they will be compatible with blood shoe size extraneous because that has no weight on what he should cut up all right good there yeah sounds good sounds good okay let's move on to part b outline two advantages of using surveys to capture data for problem analysis i had one you could get discrete data um discrete data is available in the form of multiple choice answers therefore it is very easy to analyze for trends two it gives you a larger audience larger audiences can be captured especially if the survey is administered online nice I just wish if the survey is administered online. Okay, those are just two quick advantages. Um, Mr. Singh is an Antiguan farmer who has been in business for over 20 years. In recent years, his chickens have not been going to full size after watching an American advertisement about a new chicken feed that made chickens grow faster and weigh more. He decided to switch the brand of feed, even though the new brand costs the same as the old brand however at the end of the next crop cycle he noticed that the chickens weighed much less than the previous years of production outline three criteria that mr singh should have considered before accepting the information he advertised all right um we should go for um relevance the information was from an american perspective you know, from an American source, so it may not have been relevant to to his content. To his content. Much marks is six marks. Yeah, that's good. Relevance is good. Um, he could have looked for um level of scholarship. Level of scholarship would be um the um. Ad advertisement may not have been backed by any um, and to consider that warrants the claim. Alright, so I'll change it. I'll change it from level of scholarship to referred sources. Refereed sources. Yeah. Alright. Because it has to be backed up. And the next one would be relevant referred sources. You can use currency, you can use currency, yeah. I can use currency. You could put um Alright, I could use block level of scholarship but change the answer. Level of scholarship. The persons who need the claim may not have a reputation for um for making good different key. Yeah, we need that there. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so those three would be cool. There are there are lots of others, other criteria, but you can't just pull any criteria you have to use. You have to you have to kind of make sure your criteria make sure you sound like I using the scenario C discuss the activity involving each of the following stages of the problem solving process. Define any problem. Define any problem is um determining who or what the uh, problem is affecting. It it was affecting the it was affecting the farmer and the Selecting a solution is um, looking at all the possible solutions and choosing one of them. Uh, that the one chosen was to try a new product.
it. This one kind of easy because I'm not too sure exactly what they want, but that's basically what you should answer. Identify three other stages of the problem solving process. Okay, uh, analyze the problem, identify possible solution, implement, um, and review. Yeah, review. Okay, yeah, those are the problem solving stages in problem solvers. That's key. Find it algorithm is a sequence of logical steps that define the solution to a problem in a specific amount of time. Alright, next, identify two properties of a well-designed algorithm. If you find it, it's size unambiguous. Have a start or end termination. You have relevant to choose. I think you have six to choose from finite, price, precise, and ambiguous termination and um, flow. Yes. Explain each of the following control structures. Iteration is repeating a set of instructions until a certain condition is met. For example, while x is less than 10, the um, primitive sequence is the execution x c execution execution of execution of the list of instructions one after the other until the uh, finish sequence selection is the choice of two options based on the results of a condition example it is greater than 10 then print yes else print no good part c sketch a diagram to illustrate the stages of the program development process okay that is program development process is different from the problem solving process we had to go on the yeah. um what piece stands for again my propose no reason to give a piece stands for right planning analysis design implement and review right yeah that's it um you could put them in boxes and they will follow each other cool good good wonderful all right explain each of the following program paradigms object oriented is based on classes and objects they use the facilities of inheritance encapsulation and polymorphism to create program procedural would be step by step execution execution of instruction based on a linear pattern of logic yeah i really want us to tell them yeah those are pretty straightforward examine the following pseudocode Begin, get E, get oh my goodness, wow. This is insulting. This is insulting to anybody. Like, I mean, right. the function is to get three numbers, calculate the average, and display it for the user. Yeah, that's it. How we get four marks for that? I don't know. I don't know what they want to say by explaining the function. Like, it first begins, then it gets the. I don't know. These enter the variables as A, B, and C as 24. Use the pseudocode to determine the output. They literally want you to calculate the average, boy. They want big people to literally try to calculate the average. That that's what happening here right now. Okay. Right. Twenty four plus twenty six plus ten equals sixty. Sixty divided by three. Sixty divided by three is equal to twenty. Ta da!